I've been in Columbus for 20 years. And I'm committed to this city. Seeing the city grow to where it is today, it's, it's amazing. One day, an email popped up from the James Beard House asking to call. I didn't know if it was real. To be asked to go cook at the culinary mecca of our country is of the highest honor. He was the first American celebrity chef in a sense. Um, he was a chef who became an author. The James Beard House is his house. And when he passed in the 80s, they decided to create the James Beard Foundation. So they just started doing these dinners to try to generate funding and for the foundation and it has turned into what it is today. It's the highest honor. So you get the call. My concept immediately went to collaboration, Columbus, Ohio, and how can we really showcase that at the James Beard House in New York City. I knew we were about to plan something that was really special. Hey, Bill. Morning. Morning. How, How are, are you? you? Good? Good. Good. Getting right back to feed the pigs. You want to go back? Breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Let's do it. You can hop on here if you want. This land is beautiful. Rolling hills and. Mm -hmm. Really well done. Thank you. You've got to have the right land, the right feed, the right ingredients. Raising them outside is a big thing. On Having ground. Them, on ground. Not letting them eat. Commodity pork, cement, slabs. This is no natural. concrete. All natural. Yeah. I want to get two breeds on the menu. Okay. I'm thinking. Berkshire has that namesake, and you're doing a, doing it really well. But I really want to key in on that, I think, the Magnolista. Okay. And being that the Magnolista has that really nice marbling, I think we could use loin in, in the courses. Yeah, that sounds good. You know what I mean? Should, should produce it really nice and juicy. Yeah. Colin's on board, Seven Sun, and Dave from Watershed. Awesome. Well, all their grains is what these pigs are eating, so it's definitely full circle. That's the key. The best way to really represent that collaboration mm -hmm. that we're really trying to focus on and Columbus Calling is the I name mean, of the event, so we all get there, we all sit in the room together and talk about how we brought it all into one big circle. Yeah. How better to do that? I think you have a great idea. I'm honored to be there, that's for sure. So there's the art. That's beautiful. Pretty badass, right? We want to come here tonight and tell the story. We try to do that every day at the restaurant is tell the story about the food, what's behind it. We've really put a lot of effort and time into coming here and bringing Ohio to New York. And you know, we're honored to be here and thank you all and let's have fun. Huge sense of community, huge, huge sense of accomplishment, you know, even though we're not there yet, we're, we're still in the, in the gloaming, but you know, just to be here is something else. We've been game planning this entire event for over three months, at least a thousand emails. It's been a, it's been a heck of a thing to bring everybody together on, but it's been an experience that I've enjoyed. Uh, you, you know, you, you get the chance to come to New York and cook at the James Beard House, you better be ready, and we are. 
Uh, and you know, we got about three hours and it's go time. Uh, Colin Vent from uh, Seven Sun has got two beers on the menu, one for the pre-function and one served with the last savory course. It's not just another chef doing a dinner, it's very much like he brought a whole entourage, it's all about Ohio, Columbus, heavily focused on Columbus. So it's like, you can come out and have a meal that's not just, here's Bill Glover's cooking, here's Bill Glover cooking food that was raised in Ohio and beers made in Ohio and whiskey from Ohio. So it's a little bit more holistic. We're, we're really glad to be part of it. Buckeye chicken sausage, Anderson Farms. We're doing a, a heritage breed chickens, heritage breed rabbits, and heritage breed pigs. I think as chefs get older, they realize how much more important that really good quality meat is. It's a very pure, old-fashioned, delicious way to raise meat. Travis Owens from Curio has created cocktails for the pre-function. I'd say about 98% of the stuff on the plate and in the glass is uh, coming from Ohio. It's a mixed thing, a little bit of nerves, but not too much. I think if we if we uh, do our thing that we normally do when we're at home in Ohio, we're going to show very well. Uh, it's a Mylar baggie, just like a Capri Sun. It's a light, fun cocktail. Uh, it'll kind of be an icebreaker. How easy would this be to get into the bucket? Now you know that Columbus discovered America, but tonight we are all going to discover Columbus. James. Back here. Hit there and then go come back here real quick. Just loop around me. Josh, we got two trout missing right here. All right, listen, I'm going to go get started on walleye. You guys finish these. All around. That's good for cutting. Let's get this out of here. Hey, everybody. Thanks for coming out. I uh, really really couldn't wait to experience this opportunity and to be able to do it with so many great partners is what really made it special. You know, we're all intertwined and that's what's awesome about Columbus is it's a big enough city to support what we do, but it's also small enough that we can really become and stay a tight-knit community and just really help each other. Just like, how can we do the best we can to bring Ohio to New York and really showcase what we are as a city and just to say, you know, we're really doing it on a level that's legitimate. We couldn't have done it on our own. I couldn't have done it on my own. Without the teamwork and the collaboration of all these folks here and many of the folks that are in the room. And that's, that to me is what's most special about tonight. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> When you put your name on it, you better bring the noise. <laughs> you know? Make it make it count. And hopefully get a shot at doing it again and bringing attention to Columbus. I think we got that point across. Columbus is a it's a big city, but it's small enough that we can maintain these relationships and actively pursue these collaborative efforts that really drive home who we are, what we're about, our place in the country, our place in the culinary landscape. I'll put it up against any, anywhere. It's, it's Ohio, man. <laughs>